All right, guys, so before we take this thing to CarMax, just want to give you a walk around. I know I haven't done that yet of this car, so you can get an idea, an overview of the overall condition, which will be a good reference for when CarMax gives us a price. As you can see, the interior is looking very nice. The paint where it's not dinged looks very nice as well. This car was garage kept its whole life. We got a ding right there. Some dings right there. <laughs> it's a little low, don't you think? <laughs> You can see them in the reflection. Some dings right there. And then up here at the front, a few more dings. But outside of that, I mean, you could eat off the engine bay. The car is beautiful. Obviously, we fixed the seats where they had the yellowing. But um, the seats look beautiful. All the leather in the car is beautiful. I mean, that's one heck of an interior. And let me close this real quick. Oh yeah. Got all that bird's eye maple. Just overall, a beautiful car, except for our little O2 sensor issue. guys welcome back to the channel thanks for watching today today we are going to take this lexus sc430 over to carmax we're going to find out how much money they want to give us for it now a little history on this car if you haven't seen the other videos it is a gem it has 58,000 miles on it single owner up until i got a hold of it it was my buddy's mom's car she used it to drive from her house to the country club a mile away and get lunch that's been its whole life it when i picked it up it had actually never driven on the highway um a couple things wrong with it it's got paint dings all around the car you know not a big deal um the seats had some yellow staining there's another video you can watch where i fixed the yellow staining um, with some seat dye that worked out okay so the other issue we have with the car, it has uh, check engine lights on. Um, they're all due to a bad O2 sensor on the driver's side, the upstream O2 sensor. Uh, you know, so nothing too crazy. It's still a, a great car with 58,000 miles on it. So we're gonna take it to CarMax and see how much they'll offer it, offer us for the car. Now we're not gonna sell this car. Um, obviously I'm keeping this car, it has a lot of sentimental value. Be sure to take a look at the other videos I have discussing that but I just want to get an idea of what they're going to give me for the car. Now, the other thing we want to look at, and part of why we're doing this today, we are about to start our project adding a turbocharger to this car. Um, so if you haven't subscribed already or you're interested in, in seeing that, um, we're going to be turbocharging this car. And what's going to be cool about it, we're actually going to do that without a tune without any modifications at all to the factory computer. So we're gonna turbocharge the car, um, probably run no more than six PSI, but we're gonna do that, again, without tuning the computer, without changing the ECU, no changes at all. Um, so that should be pretty interesting. So if you guys wanna see more on that, please subscribe to the channel. Um, but now is, so now is a good time for us to take this car to CarMax before we start modifying it. We wanna take it there while it's still pristine. The only thing that we've changed on it so far is we've added a different set of wheels to get rid of the run flats. Um, now, what'll be interesting to see at CarMax, I've read that there is a run on used cars right now. Um, apparently, a lot of dealers can't keep used cars on the lots, and there's been speculation as to why this is, whether it's the great deals that the new car dealers were giving out a few months ago at the beginning of coronavirus um, and now people are needing to pick up used cars you know I, I haven't read too much into that speculation but I have read that used car prices are through the roof and you can find that if you look on Craigslist so it will be interesting to see if CarMax is going to value this car higher 
than say what I think they'll probably value it at. I'm guessing in a ballpark range, I'm going to say ten thousand dollars. I think that you know this is a ten thousand dollar car, given um, the small things that are wrong with it and you know whatever else. But you know we'll see. We'll see what they think. Um, you know we'll we'll get their opinion. I'm I'm pretty sure they give us give you an offer sheet that's good for three days. Um, so maybe we'll take it around to a couple other dealerships. It would also be interesting to take it to an, an actual Lexus dealer and see what they think about the car. But either way, we're going to head over to CarMax. We're going to see how much money they want to give us. Um, so hang tight. All right, guys, here we are pulling up to CarMax. We're going to find out how much they want to give us for our trade-in. So interesting update here at uh, CarMax because of COVID, they are unlike in the past where they would have, you'd leave the keys, you'd walk around, do whatever you want while they check your car out. Now they don't want to be touching your car. So what they're doing is telling you to go sit in your car, wait around with the AC on, one of their guys will show up. Then you roll the windows down and they'll tell you what to do. Pop the hood, open the trunk, you know, do whatever you got to do so that they can check out your car without having to get in it. Um, so pretty interesting, uh, you know, new technique. I guess it's a good way to go, keep everybody safe. Um, so right now I'm just sitting here waiting and uh, we'll see when they show up. So big thanks here to CarMax. You guys are gonna be blown away. I thought $10,000, boom, $12,000 uh, for this Lexus here, $2,000 over what my guess was in the beginning of the video. So I wonder, does that have anything to do with what they were saying or what we, we talked about earlier, what we've read that used car values are going up. Um, Cause I, I really didn't think this car was worth more than 10. Uh, the other thing that was very interesting, the, the guy doing the checking on the car, right? Normally you drop the car, you go inside, they check your car. Here today, because of COVID, you had to sit in the car while he checked the car. He would say, hey, pop the hood, pop the trunk, pop whatever. While we were talking, he told me they are selling cars left and right. But he said, what the cars they are selling are trucks and muscle cars. He said they can't keep them on the lot. They come in and they leave day one. Um, so that's very interesting to know. Um, you know, I don't know what that says about the state of our economy or whatever's going on, but you know, he said it, if you got a truck or a muscle car and you want to sell that thing, you know, people are buying now. All right, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. You know, CarMax did a great job assessing the car and looking at, um, you know, its condition and what it might need. Uh, I, I really appreciate them taking a look at it, um, as well as they helped out on our next video. So be sure to stick around and subscribe so you can take a look at one of the uh, car reviews that we did with the help of CarMax. All right, guys. Thank you.